Hi, welcome back to Creative Cove. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different ways to add columns into Notion. So here I have a quick little example. So this is a weekly to-do list. So as you can see, I have a column for each day of the week with a to-do list that you can tick off. So the first way to create columns is by using the columns block. So you just want to type in forward slash column and it will bring up several different options so you can have two columns three columns four columns five columns so just pick up the one that is most appropriate for you so i'm just going to click three columns so this is going to automatically add in those columns so as you can see here is our first column here is our second column and here is our third column so you can then just start typing straight within the column so if i wanted this one to be monday for example i can just add in my to-do list if this one was tuesday again i can do the same and so on you can also drag and drop pre-existing blocks into these columns. So for example, if I had a to-do list down here. So for example, I could just grab this block and just put it into here if I want to. You can also use these bars here that appear at the side to change the sizing of the column, as you can see. So I find this method of creating columns quite handy if you're just setting up your space and you need to add columns right at the start. But the other way that I have to show you is more useful if you've already got various blocks within your space and you want to easily turn them into columns. So just as an example, I have these text properties here which show each day of the week. So let's say I want to organize these into columns just like the weekly to-do list above. So what is a quicker way to do that? So a quick way to turn these into columns is to grab these six little dots at the side and then drag the property all the way to the side until you see this little blue bar appear. When you see that blue bar, you can just drop the item and it will create a column. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing with Wednesday. So I'm going to click on the dots, drag it. And as soon as I see that little blue line, I'm just going to drop. And again, it will add another column. So you can do this as many times as you want. So I can keep doing this until we've got every single day of the week in a row. Okay, so there we go. So I've added in now seven different columns. Um, and again, I can just start typing underneath. So if I go in Tuesday, I can add in my little to-do list and I can start writing my tasks. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a quick example of how you can use columns within your workspace. So I personally really love using columns to create a sidebar. So here's my reading tracker template where I actually use columns to create this menu here that appears in the sidebar of every single page. Um, so it's an easy way to navigate between the pages. So for example, if I click on this page, as you can see, we're now on a different page with different information, but this sidebar still appears on every single page. Um, so as I say, I created that using columns. And that's it. If you did find this video useful, please give the video a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my pre-made Notion templates like this reading tracker on my store. The link will be in the description box below.